Well, I'm sure you all know what it's like pushing a barrow full of gear to your swim, especially through the winter months and all that sludgy, clingy mud. And we've come down to the seaside today, out on the Essex coast, to demo the best barrow around at the moment, the carp halter. But I'm also going to show you why, if you're getting on a bit or if it's a long way to your swim, it can still be hard work getting your gear through <laughs> terrain like this deep old sand. We've got 90 kilos loaded onto this prestige carp porter in the form of batteries. It's a lot of weight, believe me. And if you're like me, you're not getting any younger and you're certainly not getting any fitter, then you need to start thinking about making your life a little bit easier. Those uh, carp always seem to be further away from the car park every time you go fishing. And if you've done it like this for a few years, give yourself a break. I'm gonna show you something next a little bit special that would take a lot of the pain, sweat and tears out of getting your gear to the swim. Now this is where it's at. One-handed driving through, although it's a, a beach and obviously you're not carp fishing on a beach, believe me, having pushed the other barrow, this is a lot worse than thick clinging mud and this is it's pulling me along. <laughs> so we've got 90 kilos of batteries on here which is uh, more than adequate as a, as a, uh, a compensatory carp fishing load, you know, that's, uh, it's, it's my body weight, 90 kilos, it shouldn't be, but it is. Um, and getting that kind of load to your swim uh, and still being in a fit state to do your angling when you get there is tricky through, uh, through mucky terrain and long distance. With the Mark 6 power porter, you know, you just press the button and it's off. And what we're going to do, although this is on the beach, we're going to take this up onto some more carpy terrain with some slopes and the sort of stuff that you get on your lakes and I'll show you how this uh, this amazing piece of machinery copes with it and uh, I need one in my life I'm off well similar scenario we've got the carp porter loaded with 90 kilos of batteries and this is a hard standing gravel track but my god what an incline and it might look extreme but I fish a couple of lakes with slopes of this kind of magnitude and uh, talking while I'm doing this is like being on the treadmill and having a conversation with a girl on the one next door so uh, it's hard work. I'm going to try and get this to the top of the slope and then I'm going to go for a cup of tea somewhere because this is uh, this is a killer. I need I need the Mark 6 in my life. Well I've actually got this tweaked up to maximum power and even on a slope as steep as this it's a little bit fast. It's an amazingly powerful motor on this and one-handed flyby, how about that? So I'm just gonna get this bad boy up to the top of the slope and then I'm gonna show you some of the technical details up close and the key things that make this product so good. But an absolute breeze. So there you have it, the Mark VI Power Porter. I'm gonna show you some of the key things that, that make this uh, a step up from the original Mark V that was its uh, predecessor. Um, and the guys at Prestige have, have been doing this, you know, they've been cutting edge top of the game for more than 20 years now in Barrows. Um, they've made a few tweaks and a few modifications that, that created the six out of the five. Key things are uprated electronics and uprated motor. Um, I don't know how many horsepower that motor is, but as Rolls-Royce might say, it's more than efficient. Um, and, and as you saw, it was practically pulling me along and I'm not small. Um, so we've got uprated uh, motor and electronics, but the key thing is that the electronics are now sealed, resin sealed, so that there can be no moisture integration into those key areas. You know, the components are made to last and they will last. They're made, the electronic parts are all made in the UK to the very, very high tolerances that Prestige demand on all of their equipment. Um, so the Mark VI Power Porter is uh, something that's gonna take your game to the next level. And you know, some people wanna get out carp fishing, you might not be in the best of health. Maybe you just want an easy life like I do, but which, whichever way you look at it, a bit of kit like this is gonna make your carp fishing a lot easier. So there's a couple of other things I'm gonna show you when we break the barrow down, but I'm quite enjoying pushing this. I'm gonna get off down the coast and have another go. Well, before we wrap this up, I just wanted to show you how easily this machine copes with what are actually humps made for outdoor mountain biking. <laughs> I think all oh, mountain biking's outdoor, but you know what I mean. And it's just flying over these with a, an energy which is, it's incredible really. Now, if you're on a narrow path, 
and uh, or if you're just coming over a, a bit of terrain like that then you don't need to use the back back wheels and as you probably saw I was lifting that up and the whole thing was just zipping along at a fair old rate you're not going to get those on a carp lake <laughs> they're made for mountain bikers so what happens if you flat your battery maybe you've been going around your lake or you forgot to charge it um, these batteries will do in excess of four miles so it's unlikely but you can save battery power by disconnecting it so i'm going to show you how to do that next so if you want to disconnect the motor and just go on a free wheel motion just to save energy sometimes you might need might have a nice flat run um, all you need to do is reach around here and pull the flange out and rotate it and press it back in and then you'll just be on normal free wheel motion and uh, you can keep the battery powerful when you really need it and the last key difference between this and the uh, Mark V predecessor is that you can take the entire wheel and motor unit off so it's one independent unit. So if you haven't got a massive van like this and you're putting it in the back of your car, it's a lot more manageable. So I'm going home without sweating my, my head off as normal because I've had a nice easy Mark VI uh, power ported journey and um, put this in the van and we get off home.